Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to use the Magic Graph tool in GraphPad Prism. It's quite common in scientific research to carry out experiments one after the other and generate data to create graphs. In this scenario, I've generated some data from an experiment, and you can see this on the screen. And I've created a graph in a format that I like, and I'd like to use this format for future graphs. However, if I go and create a new data table and graph in PRISM by clicking on New Data Table and Graph, and I choose an XY graph with three replicates, as I've already produced in the first figure, and then paste in my data from Excel, which I've already generated, you'll notice that the graph looks very different, and the options I've got are not exactly the same as the options that I already have in my existing graph. In fact, the default settings for this graph aren't what I want. What I'm after is this format. So the team that made PRISM have thought about this and have invented a tool called the Magic Graph Tool. The Magic Graph Tool applies the formatting of other graph objects onto new graphs. Here's an example then. This is my formatted graph as I like it. The fonts are different, the lines don't join the dots, and the symbols are open blue circles with error bars. The graph I've just created looks very different. So to make the formatting of this new graph the same as the old graph, I simply click on the Magic Graph tool in the Change menu bar. By clicking on this tool, Prism will open up all graphs in the current project and show these at the top of the window. You can see them here. Underneath, it'll also show you recently used graphs for the Magic Tool and any other graph that you've recently opened. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to apply the settings of the graph that's already within our project. Once you've selected this, you click on Next. The next window gives you the options to customise which settings will be transferred from one graph to the other. Down the left-hand side, you can see we can transfer the properties relating to the graph origin and appearance, in other words, the axes dimensions, the range and the ticks of both of the axes, the fonts used, additional tick and grid lines and labels, the appearance of symbols, and also the axis and graph titles to match both examples. So you can see my new graph is just called Y title and X title, so I'm going to select this option as well. Now you can see the With Changes box at the bottom of the screen shows our new graph, and I can click on OK. And there you have it. Our new graph is formatted exactly the same as our old graph. The new data fits onto the graph nicely, and the symbols and fonts match perfectly. So let's go to a real example. In this example, we have four graphs that I want to use in a poster presentation. The original graphs were used in a publication, and they were grey and white to fit with the publication requirements. But for a poster, I want to make them look a little bit prettier. So I've gone into the first graph, this one here, and I've changed the colours to suit my needs. I've used an orange and a green. I've also changed the fonts to Times New Roman, because that's the fonts I want to use in my poster and I've changed the thickness of the lines of the bars. I could go to each of my other graphs in turn and apply the same formatting. But to make things quick, I can just click on the word graphs, which shows me a gallery of all of my graphs. I can then select the three graphs I wish to format and click on the magic graph tool. As before, I want to choose the graph within this project as my template. And you'll notice that this time, although I have four graphs in this project, it only allows me to choose the graph that I haven't selected. I then click on Next. You'll notice immediately that the second and third graph have been made a lot wider. That is because I've selected the Graph, Origin and Appearance tick box. If I click that off, these graphs remain at the same aspect ratio in which they were created. There is clearly more data in the first graph, and therefore the x-axis needs to be considerably longer. 
It's also worth noting that actually the range and ticks of the axes need to be different because the range of data are different in these graphs. So I can deselect this option too. And now you'll see that the first graph looks a lot clearer. If I'm happy with all the rest of the settings, I will click on OK. My three graphs now follow the same formatting. And if I go to the layout page for this figure, you'll see that the graphs now all look the same and would look fantastic on a poster. So that's how you use the Magic Graph tool to make your graphs look the same.